Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. It is time for another pick a card. Today's pick a card is what are his or hers deepest romantic feelings for you? So today we're going to be going back to your person and how do they really feel for you deep down? What are those deep, deep feelings that they have for you? Today, I'm going to tell you what those feelings are. Okay. It's going to be done in five piles today. Pile one, two, three, four, five. Just pick which card you are drawn to, okay? And that is going to be your person's deepest romantic feelings for you. Now, let's talk about the fun stuff, okay? First, I'm doing raffles. I did a raffle last week. I picked out the lucky winner for the tarot cards. Now I'm doing a raffle again this week. This time, I am giving away two things, not one, two. So what I'm going to do is, okay, is I am giving away a deck of tarot cards, okay? So the first deck of tarot cards that I will be giving away this week, is the Tarot de la Nuit, okay? I'm giving those away. And I'm also giving away to another lucky person a personal reading of mine. Okay, so I am giving away a how does he or she feel about you reading. This is a full love and relationship reading, okay, that I have down below, okay? And in that reading, you can ask up to four questions. So I am giving away the deck of cards to one lucky winner, and I'm also giving away the reading to another lucky winner. So there's going to be two winners this week. Last week, I had so many people enter for the deck of cards. So this week, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to add now a personal reading on top of it to just put a little bit of icing on that cake, okay? So all you have to do is subscribe, comment down below, and this will be going on from the week of which is today, I just want to make sure that you guys are aware because this is a timeless reading. So this contest is for the week of the 19th to the 25th. So 19th to the 25th. If you are watching this reading after that, I'll have another contest going on for that current week. So you may want to take a look at a video for that week to see what is available for you to win. Okay. And this is all about me giving back to you. Remember, we're in this together. Again, I know this reading is timeless, but it doesn't matter. I really want to give back to you guys, okay? I want to be able to offer my services, gift you a beautiful set of tarot cards for thanking you for being the best subscribers, the best people ever on this planet, okay? I absolutely love my community. I think you guys are amazing. I read each and every one of your comments. And let me tell you, I sometimes am, I am put to tears of how beautiful you guys feel about these readings that I'm doing. And again, you can always put down in the comments other readings that you would like me to do. I am love-based, okay? Because I try to do other readings. And to be quite honest, not many people want to watch a reading other than a love reading. But I would love to do love readings, okay? Now, also, um, if there's anything else that you would want to see from my channel that's not love-based, let me know, okay? Absolutely let me know in the comments down below. I'll be glad to do that for you. If I get enough people that want to see other things... I'll be glad to do that. And I will, of course, just like the reading I put out yesterday, I will put out other readings that I know are shadow readings, that are life, spiritual readings, mediumship readings, career readings. I will do those readings regardless, knowing that I know a lot of people are really not going to watch it, simply because I know that there are people that don't need love help. You guys may already be fine in this love department, and you just may want to know about your life. And there's a lot of people that want to know about their lives. So I just want to say that, okay? Now I will say, okay, like I say in every reading, guys, this reading is general. So it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, 
that is absolutely fine. There are several beautiful YouTube readers out there that I'm sure would be glad to do a reading for you, okay? Plus, I have so many wonderful videos on my channel right now that you can take a look at, okay? So without further ado, I just want to go through these piles. The first pile here is Harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything to elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Pile three is responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. Pile four, respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. And pile five, kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. Okay. Again, general reading guys. So roles may be reversed. That could happen. So I might be accidentally picking up on your energy. And if that does happen, I do invite you to look at another pile. Okay. So I want to get started on this fabulous love reading on what are his or her deepest romantic feelings for you. Let's find out. Hi guys, how are you? So if you picked pile one, what are his or hers deepest romantic feelings for you? Okay, so you were drawn to this card, the harmony card, and this says you are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. That is a beautiful, beautiful card to be drawn to, okay? I want to find out what is the message here behind this beautiful harmony card. Is your person feeling harmonious right now in this connection? Okay. Are they able to feel like your connection is balanced? Are they feeling that you complete them? Okay. It seems like there is a state of peace going on right now within your connection and your person's deepest deepest romantic feelings is that they would love to have nothing but a deep harmonious time with you okay nothing that's crazy nothing that's out of um full with drama they are just looking to have those beautiful peaceful calm romantic moments with you let's see what else Okay, are their deepest romantic feelings? What are their other deepest romantic feelings for you? Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 Okay, so I'm going to say one more time. Wow. Wow. What are your person's deepest romantic feelings for you? Um, hmm. Your person is madly in love with you. When I say madly in love, I mean madly in love with you. Not only do they feel that your relationship is so perfect, they see you as someone that they can spend the rest of their life with. And I randomly picked these cards, guys. I'm not cherry picking, okay? Um, they want to engage with you, not just on a romantic level, but on an everyday level. They want to talk to you. They want to hang out with you. They want to make love to you. They want to kiss you. They want to hold you. They want to do everything, okay, in regards to being with you. If you just met this person, because I know I'll have people that will say that down below, then this person feels deep down their deep romantic feelings like they found the one, okay? This person is feeling so loving towards you, so giving, okay? And they are so, gr they have such gratitude for how you treat them. That message is so loud and clear. Okay. They just feel that you are incredibly gracious. There's something about your energy that is just very calming. I just feel that you guys are very non-drama, very peaceful, very, very serene, 
collective for this pile, okay? And that is why your person feels complete harmony. They feel that beautiful, beautiful love coming from you. And they want to give that back to you. They want to be able to tell you how they truly feel. And I'm sure that this person is already doing that. I don't feel like this is a secret. So if you chose this pile and you don't know this person or you guys had a big, big fallout, then this person is still seeing you in a very loving, romantic way. But if you guys are in a connection that is really like disastrous, this is not your pile. This is a pile where someone knows you, loves you, wants to be with you. You guys are engaging in a healthy, positive manner. You're just going to this reading today just to find out really what are they feeling deep down. Maybe your person hasn't been able to express these beautiful, loving feelings towards you. But let me tell you guys, they are feeling it deep in their core. Their heart chakra is way open when it comes to you, okay? And they are madly in love with you. With this combination, they don't only see you as someone they want to have as a fiance, they also want to marry you as well, okay? Because some people just want to get engaged, but they never go the next step. They want to do everything, everything with you. Let's see what else. And today I was inspired by Doreen Virtue. So I am using her cards, except for this guy. But the rest of her cards in the reading are from Doreen Virtue. I know there's a glare there and I'm very sorry. Can't kind of see this guy's little face. Oh. A win-win solution. Their strength in your diversity. By heal. By, I'm sorry, by blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Your person sees you as a win-win solution. They see this whole entire connection as a win for them. They see it as a win for you. They see it as a win for them. They just feel that the both of you can compromise, that both of you probably already compromising. There's just not any drama here, okay? This is just, it just works. I mean, I don't know how else to explain this to you. It just works. The connection between the both of you is just there should be nothing going wrong right now. This connection is just so peaceful and quiet and loving and passionate. Okay, your person is sending you this message, the nine of thought. Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards the positive, which is here. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. So what your person is saying is that they really do feel you are having a lot of anxiety about this. Why, guys? Are you afraid of this beautiful connection here? Are you afraid of this beautiful love? Do you not believe that this person is going to actually give this to you? Your person is saying from the deepest of their desires and their romantic feelings for you is that they don't want you to worry. Because what they're seeing here is that you might always second question them. You might always doubt them. And honestly, they don't understand why. Because for them, they're like, but I don't understand that. Why is this person always doubting things? Why are they always thinking the negative? Your person has nothing but beautiful, caring, and loving thoughts towards you. And they want you to stop having this negative mindset. Stop believing that this won't work out. Stop being negative, Nancy. Okay? Stop doing that. Because... You might at some point sabotage your connection because as is, this person sees you as this adoring, beautiful person, whether you're male or female, and they see your worth. They want to be with you. 
but you are in this completely stressful situation. Maybe right now with current events, you're separated from your partner and it's upsetting you. It's very hurtful. But I just want to let you know that this here, this anxiety doesn't need to exist because your person is really coming to you with beautiful, loving energy. Then we also have here the messenger of abundance, which we all know what this is. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Your person is intending to be completely open, honest, trustworthy, and loyal to you. They're not looking to play you. They're not looking to just have you as a hookup. They don't want that. They want to treat you with all the love and respect that you deserve. Okay? Wonderful news regarding your career. So this might also be a great career message too. Maybe you're having anxiety because of your job. And this is spirit letting you know your person is coming to not only be loyal and trustworthy, but you may also have positive news that help that maybe will help alleviate some of your worries. A new job, a promotion or acceptance into an excellent school comes your way or also into an excellent job. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation involves someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. <laughs> this person who never, who may be you, is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. So, oh, ah, okay, there goes your card. So what spirit's really trying to say here in this message, okay, and also from your person, what they are really trying to tell you is that, listen, okay, they're here for the long haul. You might be doubting them because you might not be seeing everything happen right before your eyes in a matter of seconds. Because the Knight of Pentacles, he doesn't come like in two seconds. He takes a while to get on that horse and to come towards you, okay? So what this is saying, though, is that this is a beautiful, slow burn from this person. They're already saying your connection is beautiful. Your connection is harmonious. But you may have some outside worries that are affecting you. They might also have to do with your career. But what Spirit is saying is to stop worrying because not only is this person delivering a beautiful loving energy to you and a stable loving energy, but they also are saying that you might have some beautiful career opportunities coming the way, in the way, okay? Um, they might be really starting to manifest for you. So if you're worrying about things regarding career and finance as well, that may be alleviated too, okay? And this can also donate, I'm sorry, denote your person as well coming towards you, okay? But the Knight of Pentacles is slower energy. So when I am seeing this here is that your person might be of an earth sign, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So those people, they're very very, very responsible, very loyal, and very trustworthy. But they're not the kind of people that are quick to do things. They take their time because they really take the time to think about it. And I really feel here that that's what your person is doing. They're taking their time because they want to build something stable and believe when I tell you completely long lasting. Okay. And last message. Yes. I don't know what else to say here. Yes. 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 Your person has deep, deep romantic feelings for you. Yes. Your person sees you as someone that they can get married to. Yes. They want to be with you. Yes. Stop the anxiety. They love you. Okay. This, I feel, really is more of a pile of people who know each other. If you just met this person... This might be future energy, but I don't feel like it's going to resonate as much if you just literally met them on a dating site three days ago. This is really more for people that have already been in a connection and you just really want to know deep down what are their deepest romantic feelings for you. The answer is yes. Yes. Whatever it is you're asking about them, it's yes. They love you. Okay. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're subscribing so you can be notified of when I upload and when I go live. 
and I am also doing a giveaway. So if you're watching this video from the week of April 19th to the 25th, I'm giving away two things, not one, but two, to two lucky winners. I'm giving away the Tarot de la Nuit, not this one, another one, a brand new one, beautiful tarot deck. And I'm also giving away a how does he or she feel about you personal reading. I'm giving away the full personal video recorded reading. And you can ask up to four questions in that reading. So comment down below, subscribe to the channel, okay, in order to enter. And I look forward to reading your comments. I love each and every one of you. What a beautiful, absolutely beautiful pile from your person. Love and light, guys. Bye. Mwah. Hi, guys. So if you chose pile two, what are his or her deepest romantic feelings for you? Okay, so let's see. You chose the card Elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. So what's going on here? It seems like your person's feelings towards you are elevating, okay? They're starting really to develop. So if you just met this person, then this person is really starting to like you. If you've been in a connection with them for quite some time, then this person is really starting to fall in love with you. The vibration between the both of you is really starting to elevate, okay? And I can say, because of that word vibration, you guys might be in a very deep spiritual connection, okay? Um, where the both of you are here to serve a purpose for one another, to help each other grow, okay? To help each other see the beauty in life. And as I'm saying that, there's beautiful birds chirping in the background, and I absolutely love that. And I feel whenever I hear birds, it's always a sign from the divine and from spirit that you are definitely divinely guided, your connection between you and this other person. So their deepest romantic feelings for you are being elevated right now at this current moment in time, okay? So let's find out what else are their deep romantic feelings. You hear those beautiful birds? Okay. I'm sorry about the glare, guys. I'll move this over so you can see the card. And let me move this maybe over here so you can see this card because this glare is really bad. Okay. So what are your person's deep romantic feelings towards you? You guys really are attached to the hip here. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. Don't get upset by this message here because I think it's taking two to tango. And what I mean by that is your person is codependent upon you, which means that they want to spend all their time. And that's why the message came out of elevation. They are falling madly in love with you. And not only that, let go of control issues. So not only do you want to spend all your time with them, but they want to spend all their time with you. Okay. So the both of you are madly in love with each other and you guys can't keep your hands off each other, which is so cute to be quite honest. Um, but this behavior needs a little work guys. Okay. This is not healthy behavior. Um, but the reason why I'm saying this is because I feel like it's geared towards each other. The both of you might be suffering from some control issues where you want to be in each other's life constantly right now. This might be a new connection where you guys are in the honeymoon stage. This is why I feel like the vibration is being elevated here. Okay. It's almost the energy that you have between the both of you is almost to the point where it's like, super, super strong, and you don't want to be separated from each other at all. But we need to work on this energy of the controlling and the codependency. The both of you, I feel, are in this energy. So I'm not going to say anything to you, and I'm not going to say anything to them about this, but I honestly feel that it's not healthy to be that codependent and to be that um, 
controlling over your person. But I'm not reading this as a negative. I actually am reading this that because the two of you really do love to be around each other, that the both of you want to see each other 24 seven and you just don't want to let each other out of your sight. Okay. So your person's deepest romantic feelings towards you is that, yeah, they would maybe like a, a, a little bit of breathing room, but at the same time, they can't really say that to you because they're attached to the hip to you as well, okay? So this is kind of actually funny how the both of you have the same issues here. You both are mir mirroring your each other's um, flaws here. And I'm not even seeing this as a flaw, even though these cards most likely are usually read as a negative. I am seeing this as the both of you are just so insanely attracted and want to be around each other like all the time. Okay, let's see what else. The healer of action. Okay. So this here is the page of wands. Okay. Wait, no, is this a page of wands? You know what? I'm going to find out for you. I think this is the page of wands. Oh, no, I actually apologize. Way off there. This is not the Page of Wands. This is actually the Queen of Wands. Wow, that was way off. I'm sorry. This is a brand new deck, so I apologize because there's a helper of action. I, I got them mixed up. So that was okay. So that even elevates my message even further to the fact that your person, wahaho, is so insanely attracted to you. It, I can't even put this into words. Okay, but this is what they really feel about you. They feel that you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You are being asked to do many things at once. So they feel that you are a big, big multitasker. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. Yes, your heart is wide open. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, fun, which could definitely describe you. So this is how they feel about you guys. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. So they feel that you are loving, kind, gentle, loyal. I mean, fun to be around, sexy as hell. This person is so incredibly attracted to you. So that's the reason why I feel they might be codependent and why you also are attached to them like glue. I feel like the both of you are are deeply attracted to one another, but your person sees you in a beautiful light. They see that you're graceful. You're very kind to other people. You have a very big, warm heart, okay? And you also have this beautiful, fiery energy about you that they just can't resist. Let's see what else. Yeah. Yeah, the 10 of emotion. This is the 10 of cups, guys. And I had, honestly, guys, I do not see these cards before I do the pile, so... I just intuitively felt like this was the both of you being attached to the hip here. Ten of Cups. Life is blessing you with wonderful and a, ha and a loving family or a happy family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. This person is falling, oh my God, so madly, deeply in love with you. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness and understanding, kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. So this person has nothing but unconditional love for you. They see you as someone they could really have a long-term commitment with. Someone that they can start a family with. Wow. So that elevation card is so correct here. Your person's feelings are freaking elevated beyond the belief and their deepest romantic feelings towards you is that they want to have things with you. They want to maybe have a child with you. They want to have birth something with you. They want to grow with you. Okay. So again, if this is a new connection, then this connection is going to be a good one for you. Very long lasting. If you are in this connection already, all I can say is that your person loves the ever living F out of you. Okay.
Next card. Eight of thought. Now this is a sense of feeling stuck, okay? Maybe feeling a little trapped. Don't feel that way, okay? Maybe the both of you, because the two of you have so much feelings for one another, you guys feel almost trapped or connected to the hip with one another. But with this energy here, I'm just letting you guys know this can be alleviated, okay? So you guys might be a little too much on each other. And either one or both of you might feel a little trapped by this, but maybe the both of you don't want to necessarily say this because you guys don't want to hurt each other because I think you're really into this connection, okay? So what I'm saying here is that, guys, guys, it's okay, okay? It's okay. The Eight of Swords is just a mental trap, okay? You guys are not trapped. You guys can breathe. Maybe you're feeling, wow, this person is on me way too much. They may feel the same thing, but that's because the guys, you guys love each other or you guys are so into each other. But there might be a sense going forward where it may be a little too overwhelming and you guys might need a little space. So I'm just letting you know that ahead of time that you guys may get to that point where it's feeling a little too much. Just be aware of that, okay? Maybe ease up being with them all the time. Maybe you guys right now are stuck together in quarantine, okay? And it might feel like it's a little too much for you. Or maybe you guys, just in general, your energy is very, very strong towards one another. But you don't have to feel trapped, okay? They don't have to feel trapped. You don't have to feel trapped because deep down, the both of you really, really want this with one another, okay? You might feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but thats it's an illusion, guys, okay? It's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. So if you're feeling stuck right now, okay, and this person is feeling stuck, meaning the two of you might be too much on each other, okay? It's just a mental illusion. You don't have to feel like you need to be with this person 24-7 and they shouldn't have to feel like they have to be with you 24-7 as well. I don't feel like your person is unhappy with you. I just feel like the two of you might be too glued to another in a little bit of more of in a healthy way. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. So if you really feel at any time and your person might be feeling this as well, that this connection might be a little too stifling, just a little bit. It's okay. It's okay to not hang out for one day. It's okay to not talk for one day. This energy, because you guys are so into each other, might actually stifle one another in the future, okay? I'm just giving you guys a little heads up here. But deep down, your person does have very loving, romantic feelings towards you, okay? Yes, they do have romantic feelings and they really do care very, very much about you, okay? It's just that the two of you together, you guys are like peanut butter and jelly. You guys are attached to the hip. And while that can be cute in the beginning, in the long run, it could be a little stifling and it could hinder your own individual progress. Okay. And you're also the progress of your person as well. So I'm just giving you a little heads up on that. Okay. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload and when I go live. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Also guys, I have great news this week. If you're watching this reading from the week of April 19th to the 25th, I'm giving away a raffle. I'm giving away this deck, Tarot de la Nuit. I'm giving away a brand new one, not this one, because this one's mine. And I'm also giving away a personal reading done by me, a full 
How does he or she feel about you reading? It's a video recorded reading where you can ask up to four questions, okay? So I am going to be raffling that off to two lucky people. All you have to do is subscribe and comment down below and I will pick two lucky winners at the end of the week. So I hope this reading resonated with you, okay? And I hope you have all the beautiful love and abundance coming to you for this week and for the rest of your time to come. I love you guys. Bye. Hi guys. So if you picked beautiful pile three, what are his or hers deepest romantic feelings for you? Let's find out here. So we have this card called responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So your person is feeling responsible for something here. They might have done something, okay, that they're regretting, okay? And they're ready to take some responsibility for what they've done, okay? Also, they might have said things to you that were a little bit cold in the past. Um, you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So they might have been a little closed off. They might have said something cold to you in the past. They might have done things to you that really are not um, the greatest energy towards you, really is not the greatest energy towards you. And today in this reading, their deepest romantic feelings for you is that they're here to take some responsibility for their actions, okay? So let's see what else. And today's cards besides this one are inspired by Doreen Virtue. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to put this here, guys. Okay, there we go. You can't see this here because of the glare. I'm sorry about the glare. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put this here, guys, because so you can see this card. I want you to see this. Okay. So let's talk about this. Your person is taking responsibility for their past actions. They might have not been available to you in the past because they might have been working on their finances, their career. Your person might be a workaholic, okay? This might be the connection where you've tried and tried and tried to get their attention and they just didn't really give it to you. Um, and that's basically because they just didn't have the time. Your person is very 3D focused, very grounded and very hardworking. But when they get into this energy, it's all about them succeeding, them getting to the top of their game. And when it came to this connection in the past, I feel they just did not give it the time and attention that it deserved. But, but their deepest romantic feelings for you or that, that they love you. They feel that you are a true love. They feel that you are the romance of a lifetime. And today they're taking responsibility for the mistakes that they've made in the past and for the things that they may have said to you or they might have done that made you feel otherwise. You might have felt like you were left out in the cold here, okay? But if you really wanna know deep down how this person is feeling towards you, they love you. They completely love you. Okay. They feel that true love feeling. And I'm going to tell you, I don't feel like this person loves often. I feel like they may be very closed off to a lot of different people. And they're very, very, very selective of the people that they let into their life. Okay. Okay, very selective of the people that they let into their life. Okay, and when they do care about someone, this person really does care about them for like ever, okay? This is a person that doesn't love easily, but once you obtain their heart, they love for a lifetime, okay? So I'm just gonna let you know, just so you're aware of that. 
Um, your situation right now could be a little rocky. You may not know where you stand with this person, but I will say that your person really does feel those deep, harmonious feelings towards you. And they're regretful for how they treated you because I think in the past, a lot of their relationships did not work out. And that is simply because of finances and career, because they know that they've been putting themselves first for a very, very long time. And I feel now that they have you in their life. And I feel, guys, that you've been really waiting for this person. You've probably been very patient and waiting. And with them here, they're just like, you know what? I have to do something about this because I can't keep this person stuck in limbo. They really need to truly see and feel how I really am feeling inside. Okay. So here we have this card, Six of Thought, which is a Six of Swords, which is beautiful because whatever murky waters you guys could have been in the past, I feel like the two of you will be moving in a much more calmer direction towards smoother waters, okay? Peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed. And now you can see that your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water to another country. So you guys can also possibly live in another country from one another, okay? Not everyone, but you could live in another country. So that's another reason why this person kind of really wasn't able to come towards you if you're in a long distance relationship because they were probably really working very hard and they weren't able to get a moment away from their job. But it doesn't also have to mean that. It could just mean emotional distance as well. Whatever distance that you've been feeling between you and this other person, I feel like the gap will start to close. And the two of you really will be in a better situation going forward. Yes, creativity and abundance. This is the Empress card. So your person does see you as being very abundant, very beautiful, very creative. And they really do want to build something positive with you in the future, okay? Dear one, you're being called into action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects, or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. So what I'm going to say here is not only is your person seeing you as the empress, which if you know anything about the empress, she embodies all the beautiful energies of all the queens combined. So she is the queen of swords, wands, pentacles, okay, and cups. So she can do everything and anything. This person sees you as someone that can also be the mother of their future children. You might also be a parent as well. And they're seeing you shine in that beautiful energy. So you might also be a single parent here. Okay. Um, or you might have children with this person. And they really feel that if you are a parent, whether you have children with them or or whether or not they want to have children with you, or you just have children in general with someone else, they do feel that you are an amazing mother, okay? You are an amazing mother or an amazing father. More likely a mother because this is the empress, but again, there are men that do watch this reading, so they do see you as in that beautiful, loving energy, okay? And if you're not a parent, then maybe you're a pet parent, okay? But whatever it is that you take care of, your family, your friends, your pets, your kids, Whatever it is, you do an amazing job at it. And this person recognizes your beautiful talents, your beautiful creative skills, and your ability. Because I feel like this person sees that you're also very highly intelligent. You are very career focused yourself. And that be, may be one of the reasons why you've held on so long with this person. And that I feel is really because for you, you are really feeling that this person here is kind of a mirror like you, okay? You are okay with, I think the reason why you hung around for a while was because you were okay with them working because deep down you are a hard worker. So for you, it's like, you know what? I respect a man or a woman that wants to work. However, they are feeling bad that they haven't been able to give you that loving energy and they want to apologize for that. But I feel that you also are in that kick-ass energy of being very abundant yourself and very career-focused and driven. Yes. 
And here we have the beautiful Two of Cups. So yes, your person does want to have a relationship with you. They want to see um, you very happy. They want to be with you. They want to have tender, loving moments with you. They just do. The Two of Cups, a relationship grows closer as two people fall in love or a current relationship grows much stronger. So yes, whatever it is that was happening between the both of you, I really feel like these problems will be able to be mended out. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up relationships that feel challenging to you. There's still hope. So if you really feel like this relationship is challenging in any shape or form, because maybe there's a distance here, whether it could be physical, emotional, um, whether you feel like your person is a little um, busy right now or they haven't been able to give to you like you've wanted to be given. Although I do feel that you are also in that mindset of career and finances. So you might be a little bit more understanding than some other people. This relationship, I do feel, will come into calmer waters and will go into a beautiful energy of the Two of Cups. Your person does have that actual mutual attraction towards you. If you're wondering how this person is feeling, they do feel those deep romantic feelings for you, okay? So this is a yes pile. You guys will be going into a much calmer period of time, a much more peaceful time. The both of you may actually settle down. The two of you might have a family, but regardless whether you're a parent or on your own with or without this person, they do see you as that beautiful person that is capable of really mothering, not just themselves, but the whole world. Okay. Last message. Spirit is saying to look for a sign. Um, I feel like you guys have been getting a lot of symbols lately. You might be getting a lot of synchronicities. You might be seeing their name. You might be here, uh, seeing numbers like 111, like 1111, 111, 222, 777, 444. You might be hearing songs. Those are all signs that spirit is giving you to point you that you are on the right path with this person. Okay. Spirit is really saying, don't give up faith on this connection because I really feel that going forward, this connection is going to grow into something really beautiful, if not already, because this person sees you honestly as the love of a lifetime. And if they haven't expressed this to you now, they will be expressing this to you in the future. Okay. So if this reading resonated with you, Please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell, guys, so you could be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And for the week of April 19th to the 25th, I da, 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 am raffling off two things. I am giving away this lovely deck, the Tarot de la Nuit, to one lucky winner. Not this one, because this one's mine. A new one. And I'm also going to be giving away a free personal reading of mine. How does he or she feel about you? So this is a free love and relationship reading. It's a full-length video recorded reading that you can ask up to four questions. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe and comment down below. Subscribers, of course, you can still comment down below. And I will pick out two lucky winners at the end of the week. Okay, guys, I absolutely love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, a wonderful day, and feel great. Love and abundance as always. Bye, guys. Mwah. Hi, guys. How are you this morning? So if you chose pile four, it's what are his or her's deepest romantic feelings for you? Hmm. Ooh la la, let's find out. So if you chose the respect card, you value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. What is this telling me? I feel like there's an issue here with respect. I feel like your person hasn't been respecting you, okay? And they're aware of this. They're aware that they haven't been giving you the love and respect that you deserve. 
okay? Or they're aware just in general that they haven't been respecting you or treating you properly. There's a big aspect here, okay? Your person in the past might have not appreciated your value, your worth. You might have been treated like a hookup. You might have been treated um, inappropriately, okay? This person might have kind of ghosted you. They might have lied to you. They might have told you things that they just wanted to tell you just to get what they wanted from you. And this now is really big on their minds, this respect, because I feel that your person has been dealt a really interesting dose of karma where they might have thought the grass was greener on the other side, but then one thing leads to another and poof, um, they just got a dose of reality where they realized that, wow, I, I didn't treat this person properly. So this connection here is all about treating you with respect, which I really feel in the past they have not properly done to you. Okay. They have not properly given this to you. Okay. So now this is what his or her deepest, deepest romantic feelings for you are right now. Now, I do believe that you guys met at some point, got together, but they were very immature and selfish towards you and very, very narcissistic um, in their behavior. It was all about them. I feel like they got burned. And regardless of what's in these cards, I don't condone any kind of abusive behavior. But if you're intrigued to know what your person is feeling about you now, then I invite you to watch this reading, okay? But if this energy already is upsetting you, then you don't have to watch this. Maybe pick another pile or just watch one of my other readings, okay? But this is now how they're currently feeling because I do feel that they might have left to go to someone else and realized what they had and now that it's gone, okay? And how they treated you. Okay, so we have the card Honeymoon with religious factors. Okay. So what I feel happened here, and again, I'm sorry about the glare. So I have to move this over. What I really feel happened to your guys is that you never really got to spend a lot of quality time with this person. And they're aware of that because they just did not give you that attention. They didn't allow themselves to spend any time, any bliss, nothing. The time that they spent with you, I think was very short. It wasn't really very long. It was just like, come over or I'll meet you here. And it was just short visits. Um, religious factors. Another indication here as to why I feel like your person might have disappeared in the past or just kind of was a little mm, lackluster towards you could be because the both of you might actually come from different religions. The both of you might have different spiritual beliefs, and also there could be an age difference here. And in the beginning, when your person met you, I really feel that they were having an indication that maybe they felt like this wasn't going to work out. And that is why they didn't really put that much energy towards it. And they kind of just hung out with you just because, okay? They may have listened to what other people told them to do. And other people might have said to them, their family and their friends, oh, why are you going to hang out with so on and so on? You know, you're this age and why don't you hang out with people that are a little bit more your age? Or, you know, you know, um, our family isn't going to accept this person because of so on and so forth. They were afraid of taking their mask off and telling their friends and family what it is that they truly want and what it is that they truly feel. Okay. And I do feel that that's one of the main reasons why this person went into another direction was because they were being influenced by other people. And they really regret it now because wherever they went was terrible. This person treated them basically how they treated you. I'm just going to let you know that if that gives you any happiness here. Yes. So the five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for the mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through this process quickly so that you can get back to the path to joy. 
Yes, your person is fully aware that they really hurt you. This person hurt you. And that's why I'm saying if you don't want to watch this reading or you're not ready for it, I understand. But this person really hurt you. They are fully aware that they disappointed you. I feel like this person made you cry. Okay. I feel like you've had some several nights tossing and turning in your bed thinking about this person. Um, and it's sad because they really do recognize what they did to you. Oh my God. Yeah, they recognize that their third party behavior really was not helpful here. Um, wonderful news, it's on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be making, will be made a commitment, com, or I'm sorry, our communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. So what this person really wants is they recognize one, their third party behavior was not conducive at all, which it never is. And they also feel that they want to reconcile with you. Okay. Now, again, this is up to you guys, but they're feeling like they want to commit. They want to come back and they want to apologize for what they've done. They might also want to hang out with you and maybe start off being a friend to you or just being something very lighthearted, which I feel you might be guarded against because I feel that's the energy they brought you before. But this person does want to come in with an apology. That's why it's saying wonderful news. It's on its way. If you've been ever wanting this person to apologize to you, I do feel that in the future, they want to. They're thinking about it very, very heavily. We have this card here, which is called Choose Freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You can free yourself from the obstacles that you're focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Okay, so your person chose to go on their own path. They chose to be separate from what their family and what their friends believe, okay, is the best for them. They chose to do things their own way. I feel like your person's been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking lately in regards to you, in regards to how they hurt you, in regards to how they might have hurt other people. I really feel like they've been thinking that, okay? And for them, they have been really feeling like, you know, my behavior has been really appalling. And they understand if you want to choose freedom. They understand if you don't want to be with this person. They get it if you don't want to be with them because of how they treated you. But they do want to come to you in the future with an offer of an apology and possibly hanging out and possibly mending things between the both of you, okay? Um, and I know this is very hurtful energy and I understand that this is painful, but this person at least does want to apologize and they are recognizing that you may or may not take them back considering what they've done. Okay. They just really want to have a peaceful res resolution here. Okay. They really do want to have a peaceful resolution. They don't, they feel very guilty for how they've treated you. They feel like this was very wrong for what they did. Okay. Very, very wrong. And they're very sorry for what they did. And they've been dealt their karma. Okay. They've been definitely dealt their karma. Um, and they are aware of what the actions like cause reaction, but they don't feel right. Not unless they give you an apology. So whether or not you want to embrace this, it's up to you. But this person feels that it's the right thing to do to finally show you that respect and to let you know, hey, I want to offer you an apology. Hey, I know I was a douche to you in the past. I'm sorry about that. Let's start off as friends. Let's start over. Let me show you the person that I really am. Because deep down, they realize with the choosing freedom that going along the path of what other people want for them doesn't make them happy. It just makes them miserable. 
So regardless if it's with you or with someone else, this person wants to be free now. They don't want to stay stuck in that family. And I do feel they might have a very suffocating family and a very suffocating group of friends that are very opinionated on their life and what they should be doing, okay? They could have also came from a very strict family as well that basically dictates from start to finish their whole entire day. And I think this person is ready to jump ship, you know, and just go on their own. They they don't want to be stuck like that anymore. They want to choose their own personal life and they want to be able to choose who they love and who they want to be with. So if you want to forgive this person, that's up to you. But otherwise, this is the energy that they're coming towards you and how they feel deeply towards you in a romantic sense. Okay, so if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Please, when you're subscribing, guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I go live and when I upload my readings. And for the week of April 19th to the 25th, I am giving away not one, but two things. First thing I'm giving away is this tarot deck, the Tarot de la Nuit. Not this one. I'm giving away a new one, of course. Okay. To one lucky winner. And I'm also giving away a free How Does He or She Feel About You Love Relationship Reading. It will be delivered in an email, not email form. I'm sorry. It will be delivered in a video form. And you can choose up to four questions. So you can ask up to four questions in this reading. So this is the full How Does He or She Feel Love Relationship Reading that is offered, offered down below in the description box okay so all you have to do to enter into this beautiful raffle is just subscribe and comment down below and i will pick out two lucky winners this week i already picked out my winner last week and i'm ready to pick out two more for this week okay this is just my gratitude for you guys i love each and every one of you i'm so thankful for all the likes shares and subscribes on my channel for all the beautiful comments that you guys write, I listen and read each and every one of them. And I respond to quite a few of you, okay? So don't think that if you wrote me of a whole entire like love story that I didn't read it. I did, trust me. I read everything, okay? And I remember each and everything that you guys have done for me. And some of your comments, when they're really touching, I save them to my camera roll, okay? I actually do because it touches me. So... I hope you guys are all safe and happy right now because I know there's a lot of chaos in the world. But again, this reading is timeless. But regardless, stay safe, stay happy, stay loved, and just know that better times are ahead, okay? I love you guys. Love and light. Bye. Hi, guys. How are you today? So if you chose pile five, last but certainly not least, what are his or hers deepest romantic feelings for you? So let's find out. Okay, kindness. You are a humanitarian, made of love, and you are able to share that energy with others. Wow, so this person thinks that you are such a kind and beautiful individual. You might really be a humanitarian. I know there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. So um, I am drawn to, to say some things about that. But again, this reading is timeless. You might be on the front line, guys. So you might be a doctor. You might be a nurse. You just might work in the medical field. Or you just might put yourself out there. You might be a person that is very... Um, very, very, um, what's that, what's that word? You might be a vegan. You might care about the planet. Okay. You might be a person that is very, um, cost conscious meaning, um, or very just the things that you do. You don't like to waste, um, or use like plastic. You might be a conscious consumer is what I really meant to say, but there's an aspect about you that is wonderful. Your person is seeing this beautiful, kind energy that's emanating from you. Whether they've expressed this or not to you, whether or not you're together with them or not, this person is seeing you in this gorgeous humanitarian energy. So you might be giving 
a lot to people right now, especially to those in need. You might really be in that profession where you um, give back. And I feel you give back without expecting anything in return. You just have a lot of deep, unconditional love for people. You are a beautiful spiritual soul is what I'm getting from this person. So now let's find out what are their deepest romantic feelings for you. Okay, so we have children. This could be the one. Okay, there's probably going to be glare here. Eh. Okay, you can see it if I do it that way. So what are your person's deepest romantic feelings is they think that if you are a parent, they can tell you right now you are an amazing parent, an amazing parent, okay? If you have children with them, they think they are amazed at how you do it all, okay? I do think that you do it all, guys. Um, you just, there's not a day that goes by that people that you care about do not know how much they're loved do not know how much they're needed. They know this. You just make sure that everyone and everyone around you is well taken care of. And this person really does see this beautiful energy. Also, if you don't have children with them, they might see you as someone they can want to have a family with because they feel that you are the one. They're feeling that this could be it for them. Okay. They have felt something in you that they've never felt in anyone in a very long time you've awakened your person's heart chakra okay their heart is wide open for you and they really just feel that you are just incredibly gracious you're incredibly kind you're just beautiful you are just that kind of person that they really would want to be able to give everything to and they really are considering having something very serious with you. So whether or not you just met this person, you're in a connection, you might be separated regardless of what's going on. Your person has these deep feelings for you and they may have never expressed any of this to you. And that's a shame because they do have some beautiful love and romantic feelings for you. So they're already feeling that they've already met the romantic partner that they've been seeking. So they feel like they've met the one and they feel like the one is you okay so here we have four of action your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety contentment and financial security you deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created it may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as an engagement a wedding buying a new home or the birth of a child you know what, you guys, this can also be, um, for a few of you here, this could be your husband or wife coming through, okay? And if this is a husband coming through, he's you might be pregnant right now and ready to give birth to your children, and he really is, he's loving you, okay? He's really loving you. Um, I don't necessarily always read for people that are not together. Some of my readers are in relationships. I don't necessarily channel for people that are separated, okay, um, all the time or there's issues. But there's a beautiful energy here. The four of action, that's a four of wands. So your person knows that you are a very, very hard worker. Regardless, even if you are pregnant right now, you're still working. You're still doing your humanitarian efforts. You're still putting yourself out there for other people. And you just really have this gorgeous energy. I feel like you were raised um, in a very loving and caring household. And therefore, you give that same loving and caring energy towards other people. But what this is saying is that your person loves you wants to build a home with you if you haven't built one already sees you as someone that they could truly marry okay being around you is a blessing so if you don't even know that this person feels this way about you they will reveal this to you in due time but this person is really seeing you as the person they want to marry as a person they want to have children with as a person that they feel is just they want to be kind to they want to do things that just are nice they just have those loving, caring feelings towards you, okay? I'm getting very positive readings pretty much throughout this whole entire morning. So, and I put these cards at general, you know, I pick these cards in a very general way. So 
this is nice. The collective that I have right now, a lot of you guys are really going into union with your partners and so on and so forth. There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful energies that are coming through from your people today. Okay. Letting go. Release the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you go ahead so that you can fly higher than ever before. Okay. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow this situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change life by changing your thoughts. So this is the death card. Okay. So one end had to happen for a new beginning and the death card does not have to be necessarily scary. Okay. The death card can simply mean the ending of one phase and going into a new phase. Okay. Letting go of an old way of life to embrace a new way of life. And that could be anything. That could mean that you are now all of a sudden where you were single, now you're in a relationship. When you were in a relationship, now you're engaged. It's just moving to the next stage of life. And that's what this person wants to do. They wanna bring whatever happened in the past between you guys, okay? And they wanna build upon that and bring it to another level, okay? This is a person I feel that you're dealing with does not live in the past, they live in the now. Okay, they've let go from any pain and hurt in their past. They're not really thinking about or dwelling about anyone or anything besides you because they really feel that you are the one that's going to offer them exactly what they've been looking for. Okay, this person does see, I know I sound cliche, but they do see you as that happily ever after kind of person. They really do. Okay. So they are wanting to have another phase in life. They're wanting to transform something nice within this connection. Maybe this connection, maybe you guys are just friends and they see that you are a beautiful, kind, caring person, and they want to have now a relationship with you. Maybe you guys are friends and they're interested and you are also interested in them in a romantic way. Well, now they want to have those romantic feelings expressed mutually where you guys can now be in a committed relationship. Regardless here, if you're in a relationship with this person, I wouldn't be surprised if they propose to you because this is a lot of card. There's a lot of cards here that talk about love, marriage, future events, children wanting to have that happily ever after. Okay. And the three of thought. And maybe this is why letting go of the past. Another reason why they might be saying this to you is because even though you're a beautiful humanitarian, you may have gone through some pain in the past in regards to an ex and your person just wants you to know that they are safe. They're not going to hurt you like that other person in the past. Loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time. And then you'll be able to see clearly how important the situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time to need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace your future with joy. Again, letting go, getting rid of the past and having some joy. So what this person really is saying here is that if you've had any pain in the past, they want you to just be happy. They want to make you happy because they see that you are this beautiful freaking person that they really can see themselves having a relationship with. Okay. If there were, if there was any pain that has happened in the past between the both of you, your person's ready to drop it. Okay. With this letting go, that could be another scenario. They're ready to drop it. They don't want it. Okay. They don't want it. I have not picked any intuitive names. Okay, any intuitive names, but I am drawn to pick out a couple names for this pile. I'm picking names that start with J, maybe Jason, maybe Justin, maybe Justine, um, or Josh. I don't know why I'm picking out none of the piles got names here. But what I'm saying, though, is that I really feel like whatever pain that you've been dealing with in the past, don't feel that way. Okay, your person wants to let go of that energy. So whether you had a pain from a past relationship or whether or not the both of you kind of had some pain in the past, they want to get past that. They want to let that go. And they really want to see you now in this happy, joyous energy because they really are appreciating you for who you are, for how kind you are and how much you love and take care of for others. That's a huge, huge turn on for this person. Yeah. So there might have been something that happens in the past between you and this other person. Okay. Forgiveness. 
okay? Maybe they did do something towards you and you've been nothing but kind and gracious to them, okay? So they want to forgive and forget if that's what happened. If anything happened in your past relationships, then they're asking you if you can just forgive that, okay? And just let it go. Because they really want to build on something beautiful with you that is happy and joyous, okay? I honestly feel I've been reading very positive energies in my love relationship readings lately. And I feel like that's amazing because what this is really saying is that I feel in this time of need, a lot of people, okay, what's going on in the world, even though this is a timeless reading, a lot of people here are really starting to focus on what it is that they truly want. And I think that what's going on is kind of getting people to sit back and think about life and what it is that's really truly important to them. And I feel that a lot of relationships that were basically on the wayside before now are starting to come back into light because now people are starting to realize why was I being that selfish? Why was I like that? I feel like a lot of people that do have some deep loving feelings towards one another really are starting to really think about their actions because you now remember we're vulnerable as a world right now. We're very vulnerable and a lot of people are starting to recognize that. Okay. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. If you'd like a personal reading, I think I just said that. Yeah, I'm repeating myself. When you're subscribing, guys, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And if you're watching this from the week of the 19th to the 25th, I'm giving away a raffle. Not one two raffles. I'm giving away this tarot deck, the Tarot de la Nui. And I'm also giving away a free love and relationship reading, a free how does he or she feel about you. It's a love relationship reading that will be sent to you in a video recorded reading. And during that reading, you can ask up to four questions. So I'm giving these away to two lucky winners. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and comment down below, okay? I read each and one of your comments, guys. I am so thankful for all of you. My community is really growing, and I think that I have some of the best people out there in the world backing me, being in our community, and just like one of my beautiful subscribers said yesterday, her name is Jaded Kate, she said, when someone was asking about my channel, she said, this is a very high vibe channel, and I... When I read that, that made me so happy because that's what I want. I want this to be a high vibe channel. So a lot of the readings that you will be getting here, yes, I will tell people the truth. Yes, some of my readings are triggering, but they're only triggering to meant to heal you. Um, I'm not, I don't embrace negativity in any shapes or forms. So um, I just love peace and happiness. Okay, so I really am thankful. Have a beautiful, blessed day. For each and every one of you, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe, okay? Love and light to you always. Bye.